photography has been with me through my happiness and my sadness and through the depths of my depression but also through when I'm having anxiety. It's almost like forming like a bigger part of my identity. Then I'm not just saying I'm a photographer but this is what I do, this is what I'm good at. I feel tough with my camera. I feel like I can do many things, that I have many opportunities. I usually go to someone who is like one or two, three people and they look like they're quite open and that they're willing to be interviewed. I don't want to be that kind of person who confronts them and is like, hey, I'm Faces of Grahamstown. Because I know that that's happened to me before and that made me feel very uncomfortable. The people who delivered steers when they drove their motorbike past me and they were like, can you please take our picture? And I'm like, okay. And it was just something that was so completely random. I didn't even think about it. And then they just posed with their motorbikes and I thought it was so cool because I had just done a photo shoot with my friend and we were literally sitting, eating steers on the altar and these guys just came and we were like, can you please take a photograph of us? And I thought it was such a great thing because I don't want to necessarily go up to people and be like, do you want to do Faces of Graham's time? When they offer themselves to me, it's great because in a way they're kind of giving me their consent. I definitely just want to become a wiser person. Like, the thing is that I can gain knowledge through books and I can gain it through lectures, but the thing is that I think there's a sense of wisdom that university instills within you. And I still don't believe that I've completely grown as a person yet, even though I think the majority of people do. I am still constantly growing, I'm always shedding my skin, I'm becoming, I wouldn't necessarily say a better person, but I'm definitely becoming less ignorant of my world. I want to be less ignorant than I am. When I talk to strangers on the street, there's so much that you don't realise that applies to that person, if you get what I mean. Like, there's just, we often see the superficial level of a person. But then as soon as we get to understand and we have this whole deeper understanding and you kind of remember that everybody has their own kind of sense of humanity, we just tend to forget it sometimes. And I want people to remember. A lot of people know that I am very much an introvert and I am very shy before I meet people. Even though a lot of people tell me that I'm actually quite intense and quite quirky. Um, for me to go up to people and to not confront them but to go talk to them was something that was really nerve-wracking for me because I have this sense of like social anxiety. I don't know why people are thinking of me. But then I realized at the end of the day, it's not about me, it's about them. And that this is a way that I can confront my fear of talking to people, talking to people who are new.